Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock and as you can see in the title of this video, Nintendo has revealed more details about the Masahiro Sakurai Presents Sephiroth as a DLC fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. As we all know, after last week's reveal at the Game Awards of 2020 that Sephiroth will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as Challenger Pack 8, it was also revealed that on this week, December 17th, 2020, we'll get a full-blown presentation by Masahiro Sakurai showing off gameplay, special moves, and techniques along with the stage that comes with Sephiroth, music, and more. This live stream event is scheduled at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, that's 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And with that being said, Nintendo today has revealed more details about this presentation, as you can see in your screens here. How to Use Sephiroth will be broadcast from 7 a.m. the day after tomorrow. We will approach the charm of the legendary soldier Sephiroth of Final Fantasy VII. Broadcast is scheduled for about 35 minutes. Please take a look. So they all have, it. of course, the time. They're talking about Japanese time, but this event will be about 35 minutes long, which is very good to know. This means that Masahiro Sakurai is going all the way in with this presentation, and I wonder, what kind of special mechanic will Sephiroth bring to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? As we all know, all of the DLC characters so far in the game have their own special mechanic, so I wonder, what did Masahiro Sakurai implement within Sephiroth's moveset that differentiates this character from every other character within the game? One thing's for sure, we will know soon enough. Again. The Masahiro Sakurai Presents Sephiroth within Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is going down tomorrow, December 17th, 2020 at 2 p.m. Pacific Time, that's 5 p.m. Eastern Time for a 35 minute live stream. Alright everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section below and as always, remember to keep it locked here at Around the Clock, where here we focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.